Hello, Facebook fans and YouTube fans of DX Engineering. It's Tuesday afternoon here in the Eastern Time Zone in the USA. It's time for Tuesdays with Tim and Jeff. I'm Tim K3LR, and Jeff is uh, probably doing something uh, with his wife for lunch, uh, but he is not here today, so we're going to go solo. And uh, we're back over at the 80 meter stations here at K3LR, and uh, we're getting ready for our next event here. But before we get on to our next event, uh, I want to talk just for a minute about field day. We had a great field day uh, here at K3LR. We actually used our club call sign uh, for the Mercer County Amateur Radio Club, and that's W3LIF. And uh, so we had about uh, six or seven operators, um, and they weren't all here at the same time. So uh, we uh, only had uh, four operators uh, maximum here in the shack. So we were distanced uh, uh, apart from each other. And uh, we were also, uh, I assigned uh, sanitized headsets uh, to each operator. And uh, th there was a label on there that told uh, whose headset it was. And uh, that way uh, we uh, kept the chance of anything bad happening. Uh, down to a minimum. Speaking of which, uh, just arrived the DX Engineering mask. So you, you can wear it down here, and then when you need the mask, you just put it up there, and you've got DX. So they're in stock, and they're on the website, and so it's the DX Engineering mask. And I, I'm going to uh, take it off now, but uh, you can see it's uh, brightly colored and uh, excellent. And uh, there are more photos of the DX Engineering mask on the DX Engineering website. So, and uh, speaking of deals of the week, uh, deals of the week, we have the ICOM IC7851 uh, review manual. And basically this, this book talks about everything that the 7851 uh, does. This particular book is very special to me because it's in Japanese. And the reason it's in Japanese is when the IC7850 came out, um, I was uh, I got one very early on. That was uh, February of 2015. I got the 7850, and uh, they interviewed me as part of this book. And so there's a whole section in here about uh, some of the things that I had to say about the uh, IC7850. Uh, here at K3LR. So that's inside. And so this is the Japanese version. And it was signed by JA3FA. JA3FA is the founder and CEO, Mr. Inouye, of ICOM. He's the I in ICOM. But we don't have the Japanese version for sale. For $20, you can, at 60% off, you can buy this technical reference book on the IC7851. It is a just fabulous and all in English and uh, just something if you're, if you're considering on buying the, the radio, that manual is great to have. And if you don't have that manual and you have a 7851 or you know somebody that does, 20 bucks and it gets you going. So uh, coming up this weekend uh, on uh, Sunday, we will have the operators from the Skyview Amateur Radio Club out of New Kensington, uh, and their club call sign is K3MJW and W3GH. And uh, they will be up here activating Kilo 2 Mike. So if you work K2M as part of the 13 Colonies event, and that's what's on the monitor back here, is uh, 1313 Colonies.us. And uh, it starts on July 1st and goes to July 7th. And all the details are on the website. And uh, K2A through K2M are the original 13 colonies. And then uh, there's WM3PEN in Philadelphia and GB13COL over in England. And those are the 15 stations participating. You, you can get a very, very nice certificate. You don't have to work them all, but if you do, you get a special endorsement. It's really a great event. And... Uh, Highly recommend uh, you look for the 13 colonies to be activated on July 1st 
and uh, they'll be on for seven days. So it's a, it's just a super event, and uh, I'm very excited to uh, be hosting uh, up here at K3LR on Sunday. And uh, hopefully, <clears throat> if uh, we can do it with Katie, maybe we'll get uh, some Facebook Live of K2M operations going on from here on uh, Sunday. So look for K2M uh, from the K3LR station on Sunday. And let's see who we have here. We have uh, KF0AFO from Nebraska. And uh, Giuseppe is in here again, IT9IDG. And uh, from Connecticut, it's Dick, Whiskey Victor One Mike, and Tim in Texas, K5TGS. And uh, let's see here, uh, Greg uh, reports, AB9 Mike Zulu, the field day was awesome. I taught a new extra about HF and HF digital modes. He hadn't done any uh, digital work and had limited HF experience. Well, that's great, uh, Greg. That's certainly what field day is all about, is, uh, is teaching and elmering and uh, so uh, super. And here's Michael, uh, W3MLJ, and he'll be one of the operators here uh, this weekend for uh, K2M. So we'll see you, Michael, up here. And uh, this Champ, E21EIC, nice to have you in here, Champ. And uh, let's see, Stephen was Whiskey Alpha 8 Yankee. And uh, Charlie, Delta Lima 6 Radio Delta Echo. And um, Jeff, where will you be on 80 meters? Headed home to fire up the shack and would love to work you and uh, your huge K3LR station. DXE is my go-to for everything ham. 73 from Jeff, uh, Whiskey Delta 8 Juliet Mike. I'm not sure where we'll be on uh, 80 meters on Sunday, but I do know this. You won't have any trouble finding us. <laughs> we, we will be on 80, uh, on 80 phone. Uh, here's Bill, K3 Hotel Whiskey, and uh, Whiskey Papa 4 Radio Lima Radio, and Fox 5 Radio Alpha Victor from France, Whiskey 2 Golf Tango, and uh, let's see, here's, here's our friend Gordon, uh, part of the Mercer County Club, Kilo Zulu 3 Whiskey, and uh, John, uh, the tall guy, says it was a great field day this year. We got many new KC3 calls on the air. So, uh, and 73 from K3STL, the tall guy. And uh, we've had the tall guy on uh, Tuesdays with Tim and Jeff. And we have Alpha Fox 4, Oscar, Del uh, Oscar Delta, and Whiskey Alpha 3, Mike, Charlie Kilo from Wilkes-Barre. Um, and uh, let's see, Sean, K uh, KHZ here, just saying hello, working from home, home all as well. Nice to hear from you, Sean. And... Uh, Joe, Alpha Delta 2, Alpha Hotel, and um, are you using StreamYard? Uh, yes, we use StreamYard. Uh, and Jeff, Kilo Charlie Zero, Mike Kilo Sierra, and Paul, Echo India 6, Fox Echo, and uh, Jerry's putting his station back together uh, for the 13 colonies, and he was on 40 sideband for field day at Whiskey 8, Fox Yankee. And uh, there's November 9, Sugar Echo Sugar. And uh, here's our friend Wayne, uh, Kilo 8 Fox Fox. Nice to have you on, Wayne. And uh, Steve, November 8, Tango Uniform Whiskey. And Mike, uh, Kilo Echo 3, Juliet Papa. Nice to have you on, Mike. And uh, Dave, Whiskey X-Ray 3 Echo from Erie. And uh, let's see, uh, what else? No sign of a catalog yet. Steve Harvey, Mike Mike Zero Sugar, Japan Hotel. Well, we'll make a note of that. Mike Mike Zero Sugar, Japan Hotel. But you know that the went or the uh, mail is uh, slow going over to the United Kingdom now. So, uh, but I will check on that for you, Steve. And uh, Carlos says to the sky with the hobby. Absolutely, that's what it's all about. And if you have any questions, today is a good day to ask questions because uh, without Jeff here, uh, I, I think Jeff was on for field day, but I'm not sure. And uh, we would have talked a little bit about that. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on in the shack here. Like I said, this is back at the 80 meter position. And so this is the 80 meter run radio. Uh, of course, it's the 7851. 
and beside it is the search and pounce radio, another 7851. And uh, this is our the high Z receive antenna system, and each LED indicates a direction. And so it goes in 45 degree steps. And then there's a watt meter for the 80 search and pounce and for the 80 run. And then on 80 run, this is the only multiple band amplifier we have in the shack. This is an old Alpha 77 DX that's been updated with all the latest uh, KF6I modifications inside and the new plates uh, chassis outside. And uh, here we have WinTest. That's the logging software that we use here at K3LR. Here is a PalStar speaker that I like to use for the nets that I work uh, during the week. And uh, that's an, an SP30. And uh, what a great speaker. It just, just sounds good. And I like the wood finish, too. And uh, then over here we have the uh, mono band amp for the search and pounce station. So this only works 80 meters. And it's a single 8877. Uh, in the background, you can see some of the awards from the ARL uh, contests that we've uh, won for the multi-multi uh, category in the US. And also some sweepstakes awards uh, are on the top uh, level there as well. So, um, and then of course the Geochron, uh, which faces the 40 meter station. And uh, so that those guys can know uh, where the sun is at any given time. So let's see uh, who else do we have on here today. We have uh, uh, Steve and uh, Gino, Kilo Golf 7, Papa Oscar United. And uh, so Gordon says, how many miles of radio wire is under the antennas? Uh, Gordon is KZ3W, and he's playing his sax there. Um, you know, Gordon, that's a great question. I think at one time I totaled it up and it was almost 20 miles of radials under all the verticals. And there's there's a lot of vertical antennas here. Um, and um, Michael says, uh, what microphone do you recommend for the ICOM 7300? Well, pretty much any of the Heil mics will work, but I gotta tell you, Michael, the, the hand mic that comes with the 7300 sounds really, really good. Uh, it's one of the best sounding microphones I've ever heard. But any of the uh, Heil mics, whether it's, you know, on the Pro 7 uh, or even, uh, let's see, I don't have my uh, studio mic here, but the PR40, um, any of those uh, works fine. Uh, for a boom mic, uh, so uh, if you're going to put it on, you know, for a headset, uh, that would be the uh, the Pro 7. And uh, he's got a, Heil has a ICOM element, and you definitely want to get that. And uh, here's Brian, Alpha Fox 8 Whiskey X-Ray. And uh, let's see, Tim, I bought the FT991 from DX Engineering, and I want to use it on YSF. But we do not have YSF repeaters in our area. Is there a way to use it as a node with maybe a uh, Pi Star or something like that? Um, if you could... Uh, I'm in, if you would please send me an email with this question, and I will pass it on to Digital Dorsey. Uh, Ken K8OAD is the guy that can uh, can help. So please send me an email, k3lr at k3lr.com. And uh, good afternoon from Whiskey 2 Alpha Echo Whiskey. And we have uh, Ernest is on. He's a newbie. Kilo Bravo 3 Oscar Delta Lima. And uh, welcome, Ernest, and hope you're having fun with the hobby. And uh, Gino says the new DXE masks are sweet. Well, I'm glad you like them. And uh, let's see. And Gino says that's what I run on the Pro 7. Okay. From Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, Whiskey X-Ray 5 Oscar uniform. John, nice to have you on. And uh, Jose is in uh, Rio de Janeiro. And uh, let's see. November 9, Sugar Echo Sugar. Okay. Very good. And uh, skip long path. I'll bet way more than 20 miles of radial wires. <laughs> 700 years from now, they will dig up the antenna farm and say that there must be a copper mine. <laughs> Thanks, Parky. KB8UUZ. And uh, Mark Haynes, uh, M0DX Surrey, says, What do the 80 meter guys work to the southwest? Uh, the opposite way of the phase four squares. Um, 
Well, what does AV meters provide in terms of long path at K3LR? Really, uh, during a contest, we don't uh, get involved very much in uh, long path. Um, one of the best QSOs we did have was actually bent path uh, to China, which was work from the Southwest. Uh, so, uh, and uh, Andy did that N2NT during one of the CQ Worldwide phone contests. So, uh, and the only other thing that's over there in the Southwest really is, is New Zealand. And um, sometimes FK8CP uh, peaks up uh, that direction, but he's pretty much due west uh, for us. Let's see here. We've got um, Jose, Papa Uniform One, Mike Papa, and Steve with the Yesu FTDX 1200 with a Heil 781. Uh, let's see. Here's also Fox Mike or Fox 5 Lima Mike Whiskey. And, uh, and Gino says, uh, Amen, what, what is your call? And I'll email the app for Android now. So uh, Eamon's call is November 9, Sierra Echo Sierra. And uh, what is the uh, Heil mic for the FT991A? Uh, what's the recommendation? Uh, again, um, any of the Heil mics will work fine on the ASU radios. You just have to get the right adapter uh, to go between the radio and the mic. Uh, so let's see. It says, I have a 7100 and a Heil Pro 7 non-IC, what cable do I need? Um, you need the uh, ICOM adapter cable. Uh, in fact, I've got one right here. This is the ICOM adapter cable. We'll take it right off of the radio. And I'll show you that. So, uh, you know, for ICOM, it's uh, got the little uh, green deal on it and uh, the foot switch and the mic. And then this goes in the front of the radio. And you're good to go. And uh, congratulations to your station. Thank you. And uh, here's Steve, November Alpha 5 Charlie. Worked my first ever Europe station on six meters over the past weekend. What a thrill. Congratulations to you, Steve. Um, I operated six meters. That was the, the band I was on. And uh, it, it was uh, the, on Saturday. It was rocking. And we got, um, let's see. Mark, November 4, Mike Queen United from uh, North Carolina. And here's uh, Cookie, K3 Lima Echo Alpha. Carol, nice to uh, have you on with us today. And in Brazil, Class C. Okay, Jose. And John Simon says, I use a 781 mic on my 991. And uh, there's uh, some information on Heil headset adapters from Gino. And uh, Chris, uh, nice to have you on. And John Simon says, thanks, Tim and Gino. And uh, there's uh, Mel is on with us today, KKSU, who is uh, also working at DX Engineering from home and uh, taking care of uh, lots of odds and ends. And uh, the list goes on and on. And of course, you can find Mel every uh, Wednesday in the chat room on Ham Nation. And uh, Oh, uh, Carol Scholl says, don't tell Barney. Uh, she's married to K3LA, so she must be working today in the law office and uh, in, a, in a different office so that K3LA doesn't know about it. But he's probably on uh, his iPhone working FT8 remotely. <laughs> so everybody's having fun with ham radio. So, hey, thanks, for everybody, for showing up today. It was really great, and uh, we got to answer some questions. And if we didn't get to your question, you can always email us. It's dxengineering at dxengineering.com, or you can email me, k3lr at k3lr.com, and we will do our best to get an answer back to you quickly. And uh, I hope everybody has a good day, a good 4th of July, gets on the air, works the 13 Colony event, and uh, hopefully we'll run into some of our friends from uh, using K2M here on Sunday. So 73 from K3LR and DX Engineering.